it's been a long time, but these OGs are back. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope you're all looking after yourselves both mentally and physically and you keep pushing those barriers, you keep pushing those boundaries and you're on target for your goals in 2023 and you keep laying the foundations, you keep growing and you keep excelling because it's your time to keep developing and growing and excelling guys, that's the most important thing and making sure that you guys keep growing and keep hitting your targets but also please do check out the Shoe Dog podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks ATL, we talk about sneaker drop my sneaker news sneaker bad behavior because we always take that to sneaker court of public opinion and please do like follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's break it down like we always do guys because today we're breaking it down and that's right guys another og for 2023 and this time is a much anticipated og and this time it is hey presto shabang this is the jordan 12 cherry As you can see from the B-roll guys, this is the Jordan 12 Cherry and this is another sneaker that's re retro and come out and this has taken 14 years to come back out because this originally released in 2009 and basically it originally came out in 1997 in Michael Jordan's fifth championship run for that second free P. But guys, this is a awesome, awesome re retro. I've been waiting for this for so long, and I know I'm not gonna pick up those 2009 pairs because as soon as you put them on feet, they're gonna blow out, and you need a fresh, banging new pair to put on your feet. But before we check out the sneaker, let's take a look at the box. And hey, presto, shabang, guys, this is the Jordan 12 box. And the only difference with a regular Jordan 12 box is you don't get the jump man, you get the swoosh because this is OG, and swoosh deserves to be on this. And guys, Jordan 12 OG box and all, but as you can see, brown top, black around, and you've got that actual upper tab, which is more of a red kind of vibe to this sneaker. Inside the box, you get a brown tissue paper, and then you get underneath a white tissue paper, and that's pretty much it for the box itself in terms of looking at it, in terms of the inside of the box. But outside, you get the affiliated writing at the bottom as well, as you can see, guys. And on top of that, the box label looks like this. The box label reads like this. The box label should be like this. And this is obviously a sneaker that came from Mossspring because of that tab, guys. That's what it is about. But the box label reads like this. As you can see, the box label says Air Jordan 12 Retro, OG Retro and all white black vasty red that's what the actual color code for this sneaker is and the code for this is ct8013116 that's the code it's a us 11 uk 10 women's size 12.5 eu size 45 my size my pair so watch to the end for the on feet but that's the box guys now let's take a look at this sneaker it's sneaker time so hey presto shabang and as you can see guys this is the OG Jordan 12 Cherry. It's absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing, guys. I've been waiting for this sneaker to come out ever since I heard it was coming out. This is one of my most anticipated pairs this year. This is absolute perfection in hand. And I'm gonna break this down, guys, because this is more than just a sneaker. This sneaker actually came out in 1997. In terms of Jordan's run, this I think was his fifth championship run with this sneaker in terms of that three piece. So it's like one before the 13 and the 14 and the last shot. But Cherry 12s, guys, I'm actually want the reverse flu games. I want the flu games, absolutely dope. Not the reverse flu games, the flu games, absolutely dope. OG colors, I love OG. OG sneakers guys but this one is absolutely special as you can see I did get the Amamonier um, 12 which is a white pair which is similar to this which has got a burgundy on the mudguard but you can see the mudguard on this is cherry red I think this mudguard is slightly lighter than the 2009 
peer that came out basically it that 2009 peer was a bit darker this is probably more og touch than the actual 2009 peer but it's still guys absolutely dope absolutely beautiful and when we talk about 12s i love 12s guys i've got loads of 12s in my rotation i might have to put a video out there to show you guys what the 12s look like but as you can see from the pattern of the 12 this is basically going from like the rising sun flag the old rising sun flag the japanese old flag that is the, i think that was a more controversial and it's kind of provoked all you get is that white and the red dot but now this is from that rising sun flag which is spanning all the way through and as you can see that rising sun is on this sneaker designed by tinker hatfield absolutely dope absolutely magnificent and predominantly that white upper is so soft guys look at that guys absolutely dope and even the actual lever on this is dope the mud guard lever is soft the toe lever is soft this will crease but it will crease really nicely and this is not like a regular 12 some 12s i've got are actually stiff the actual breakdown on the level will be harder and it will kind of crease a bit more between the mud guards there as well so that's what a 13 does as well but this is dope this is so fire the actual lever look at that lever guys look at the pictures i think if you go to the b-roll you can see some of the pictures i've actually put on this but this is so so fire as you can see mud guard red medial side mud guard red white uppers you got that silver eyelets there as well punched out eyelets you got the two and the three on this as well which represents the actual 23 michael jordan's jersey jump man on the tongue you got 23 on the back look at that absolutely beautiful 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 booty there guys as you can see 23 on the back and as you can see guys equality inspired by the greatest pair alive jordan on the side jump man this is gorgeous guys if you want a jordan 12 this is the one you need to go for absolutely beautiful i love the flu games i want the flu games but this is a very 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 dope sneaker inner lining black as you can see inside you've got the actual i'm gonna take the tissue paper out remember guys it comes with tissue paper nowadays but insole on this is absolutely dope as well you've got that red jump man like a red colorway kind of insole that actual felt on this is nice as well that's like the insole is thick enough to actually accommodate your needs as well it's going to be comfortable and jordan 12s are comfortable as well anywhere between like a jordan i think jordan like 11 12 and 13 are super comfortable i don't own a lot of jordan 14s by the way 14s i don't actually kind of vibe it as much but as you can see guys outsole you've got the black pods you've got the graphite there right there graphite plate there this is super fire. Jordan 12s are so, so nice. They're so underrated as well. Just basically, the red on this is so nice. The red and white, that Chicago look on any sneaker is absolutely dope. And as you can see, eyelets there, white laces there, a white lace, like the basic plastic that actually contains the laces as well. This is so so good. So so good of a sneaker. Leather tongue as well. All Jordan 12s come with leather tongue. But what else can I say? What else can I say, guys? This is just perfection. And on that, guys, I'm going to give this, you know already, a super goat. OGs always get super goat. And love the smell. Love the smell of this sneaker. Absolutely dope. Absolutely vibrant. And you know, guys, this sneaker sold out and it went quite quickly. So if you weren't quick off the mark, I had one that I ordered for the bro that got cancelled, which I'm a bit disappointed about. I'm going to try and get him in size nine because he often send it to the bro. But this super dope. And who can't deny a jump man on your eyelids there? Look at that jump man on vibe. Look at the quality, guys. This is such a dope, dope sneaker. OG's are always one of my favorite pickups. Every time, playoff eights, 12s, anything that's in that OG form, I love. Chicago's, breads, flu games, cherries, anything, guys, like that comes in that OG colorway. Like you even got the playoff 13s, the playoff eights. Yes, guys, just give me an OG and I love it. Absolutely dope, dope sneakers. But as you can see, guys, I'm gonna give you that front perspective. Look at that toe down perspective, that booty action on this with that 23 and the jump man, the lateral side, the medial side, and that beautiful 12 outsoles. And there's always something about a Jordan outsole that I absolutely love. Jordan's 
have the best outsoles. For some reason, Tinker and the Jordan brand absolutely kill the outsoles. Love them. They're so unique. They leave such a beautiful print in the snow, in the sand, in any texture that you want to put your foot in in terms of stepping. But give you that 360 degree rotation. Make sure it's on your feet. Make sure you hit the streets and make sure you bing the absolute OG here every single time. This is beautiful. This is absolutely dope. And this is why I'm going to give this my super goat race but guys wait to the end i'm gonna put some fits together for this because yeah this is nice this sneaker is one of the dopest pickups this year in my personal opinion and i've actually had some dope pickups this is so so good and the quality on this i can't get around how soft the lever is on this i'm not joking no no cap the lever on this is soft the toe look look at that the toe is soft, the mud guards, the le red lever, which is more of a tougher embossed lever is, is actually soft as well. Red on the midsole, red that encapsulates the back there with that 23. This, like guys, guys, I can understand why they sold out. I can understand why they sold out. This was hard to get. The resale is going about 250. It's going to go up, guys, because obviously this is like the second re retro from the 997 pair. You've got the 997 pair, the 2009 pair, and now you've got the 2013 pair. It's just perfection, guys. I can't say anything more, but perfection. I'm super impressed with this. There's no. That, there's no real manufacturing faults with this at all. I'm looking at the right pair. There's no paint overlays. It's crisp absolute crisp like i'm super surprised that they knocked this out of the park and i heard a lot of people were getting really bad pairs but i haven't seen a bad pair i'm honest i haven't seen a bad pair at all love it the black strap at the back so good so good just let's just walk away from the sneaker otherwise the review be like 28 minutes or something but yes um that was the jordan 12 cherries guys wait to the end when i do my on feet absolutely dope sneaker if you can try and get it credit i know it sold out i know you might need to maneuver right this moment in time but that sneaker absolutely vanished in terms of the release i think in the uk it stood around a little while but in the states it actually sold out quite quickly but if you can get your hands on it go in store if you can check them out i did ring up offspring i rang up another couple of retailers as well in terms of size and foot patrol and stuff like that their pairs were like scarce I'm, i couldn't even get a size nine so that tells you a lot about that sneaker but check out to the end for the on feet go and check it out but for me, TJ, I love Kit Customs. Like I always say at the end of the reviews, I hope you have an amazing week, amazing month, and an amazing year. And I hope you guys cut the sneakers you like because you deserve to get the sneakers you want. From me, TJ, I love Kit Customs. Peace out for now, guys, and peace. I just discovered Crown, the iced coffee. Kind of turned up in her right now. You know what I'm saying? I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use Trying to convince these niggas even though I got the proof I just throw up the deuce, I swear I'm the truth I swear I'm the truth I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use Trying to convince these niggas even though I got the proof I just sit by to the booth, the chosen one like Luke I spread my wings, I'm still in love like true I ran myself full circle like hoops Bobbing, weaving through the traffic like coops Underrated on the pavement like some high-tech boots Take my aim at the game and I shoot Mr. Target by a measure, now I do it for pleasure Ain't no rush, I can pop off at my leisure It ain't on me, boys in me, so I won't lose my clever Plus I'm straight, I ain't hurting for cheddar That's an old school reference, got a real shit preference I come at you with deference. I ain't studying you stepping. I don't care what you reppin'. I'm west side to the deafin'. I'm a town, ain't no guessing. Nothing more, nothing less. I ain't gon' ask for no blessing. I come through with the wrecking. I'm low key, no suspecting. You won't notice no weapon. I'm wide awake, you been slapping. I unsended the message. If I do miss some betting, it's on me, bring that check in. Boy, I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use Trying to convince these niggas even though I got the proof I just throw up the deuce, I swear I'm the truth I swear I'm the truth I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use Trying to convince these niggas even though I got the proof I just sit by to